Hello and welcome back. As we can see here, this is the remnants of our original plan here. So yeah, I really didn't like it. The, plane, uh, the trains were really slow and in that case I lost a lot of money as well with the efficiency bonus. So what we did now or what I did now is I had these tracks here along the road. Um, with this I can use the slope of the rope, kind of, uh, of the road, kind of it works. And as we can see the trains can now be way faster. Um, it is a bit longer than the original approach, um, th uh, but they can take a higher speed now, right, than this odd thing that I had there with the bridges. So also it looks much cleaner now with along the roads, having this along the roads makes more sense as well to me. Um, and thus the trains can, well, travel much faster and I can use high speed trains later as well. So the only thing that we have here now is the remnants of this experiment that I had, but well, you learn with those experiments. And the only thing I need to do now is getting rid of those old tracks. We might actually keep them also for, you know, demonstration sakes, but nah, let's just get rid of them. The trains and the lines have already been remodeled as well, so the whole thing works just as before now with a bit more speed that we still have some older tracks that I played around with. Now, in this episode, what I want to do is I want to use some of the new planes that we got. We got quite a, a few more planes, as we can see, and perhaps also get a new airport up. So we only have two airports at the moment. Um, as we can see also now lots of people use this station here coming to and fro with the train and with the bus, whatever they wish with. And as we can see, also lots of food is waiting, so I might just update my trucks then as well. First things first, let's go with the airplane, and then we have Air Bolton Sleepy Hollow. Um, and then we have then the older planes now, the DC, and we're just going to change them with the DC-4, which is the latest model, which can take another five more passengers, so a third more capacity, and is even faster than before. And let's just exchange that. And have a look at those beauties because they look fine look at that they have four propellers now they're huge and they already have this more modern shape now bigger cabin beautiful absolutely beautiful i used to love that whole thing here the douglas dc4 is a four engine american commercial aircraft with piston engine propulsion from 1945 and this is what we are right now it was all used all over the world in civil aviation and i'm pretty sure that this was the last um big um, propeller aircraft before the jets came, right? The jets came around, I think, 1959 or 1952, something like that in the 50s. Um, and the first jets came and, yeah, well, jets are far superior because they're faster and can carry more. But in that case, beautiful aircraft. And look at all these details we have now, the flaps out here at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that right after launch, you will then retract the flaps again. At least that's what you usually do when he's high up there or he's just using them for a flight 138 kilometers an hour at the moment autosave is stopping the whole simulation other than that we are on the way back now so i want to use these now for the future and also 15 passengers per plane is pretty amazing pretty nice okay you are now ah there he's retracting the flaps just as it should be and as we can see he's now flying at 360 and just look how fast that is way faster than the old planes like twice as much uh, of the speed already I'm, I'm so excited for the jet engines that we'll see soon all right so that is that um we also have new planes for the cargo where is my airport there it is once again i want to use that um air food that we have quite a lot of planes on this line um and let's have a look we still use now the douglas c no, actually, there hasn't been anything, right? I don't think so. Nope. For the cargo, we still are the same, right? So I can keep the same planes there. But yeah, lots of traffic now here on the airport. And this is about to get even doubled, I think, with a new airport. We do have Yarmouth, which has 600 people now. How much does Sleepy Hollow have? 500. Yarmouth is actually bigger than Sleepy Hollow now. Having an airport here would be a good idea. Alveston is far away and very slow or very small. In, in Bolton we have an airport, so I'm not going to have one, but Riverdale might have one. Plus Riverdale is also growing. So having one in Riverdale, Bolton, Yarmouth and Sleepy Hollow, I think this will be it. Then we would have all the airports, but well, let's wait for the third airport. Yeah, let's wait for that and rather focus on the trains, because last episode I said that I would like to do that. And by the way, we also have our ship line here, which is kind of working. So there are a few people on it now, right? And it's close to making profit. 
So the ship line is not such a bad idea after all. As we can see, there are actually people waiting. It's not efficient, but well, people get there, you know, so they, they rather enjoy a beautiful day out on the ship. And I'm just going to keep one ship on this, on this line here for now. And this is looking amazing. So beautiful. And there are lots of people now also on the deck there, as we can see outside. As it is making its way to Rockdale. That's that. Now, let's go with the next train lines. Corringham and Alston. They need trains, even though they are going to be small towns. The challenge here is that we are going to have lots of elevation and also mountains in between. So, I like to start with Alveston out here. And, of course, this is, as we can see, the end of the world. So, having a terminal station here makes sense. Also, I can see that we have way more cities here as well that I totally neglected up to this point. Bantam and Lancaster. There's nothing around it. I mean, there is green and there's food. This one needs food, so we might actually have a smaller loop here that would be possible. So Bantam could grow. Yes, we could make this work. Difficult decision though, how we would like to handle this, right? Because we got those two cities there. Do I want to have them connected? I don't know, to Blackpool? Do we want to have a big train there? No idea yet. What I know is that Alveston, Corringham need to be connected with Yarmouth. That is probably what I like to go with. It needs to be carefully created though, or carefully um, planned, because otherwise it would be not profitable. And of course we want to maximize the city growth. Because we are now in 1945, the war is over. <laughs> there was a war, yes. And in the 50s, 60s, cities start to grow way faster than before. So we're going to see massive city growth then as well. Um, and I really want to have my infrastructure up before that. Otherwise I would have to destroy so many things, which is expensive. Corringham, passenger, yes, most likely here, let's get rid of that street, and then we might have our little station, it's going to be a small train here anyway forever, most likely, let's have it more in the middle so I can, um, well, increase it in length, even though it has 240 meters already, so I don't think that it's going to get any larger than that. And then we would like to have one in Alveston. This is a terminal station though. There it is. And terminal station can be right in the middle. So let's just have this one here in the center. This is a good location for it. And let's just try to squeeze it in as close as possible to anything else. And there we got the terminal station for Alveston. So Alveston is now going to be connected to the world. Very exciting. This is finished, this is finished, so all we need now is the tracks, and then... Huh, the distances are quite long, right? I worry about the profitability of this one. We might also go with Molten, Corringham, Alveston, Molten, Ripen. Right, this would, this would also make sense. We would have then trains here. Why is this one waiting, by the way? Oh no, it's not waiting, all right. It's on its way again. Hmm. No, I know what we want to do here. So what we have is we do have these mountain villages, right? These four here, and I want to connect them. Now we do have those two. We're going to make a train to Molten from those them, or for, the, for those two uh, villages there, to Molten and then to Ripen. And we have those two here that are going down then to Molten as well. And we're going to have another train line that goes from Nelson, Rockdale, Molten, and Yarmouth, right? So then I think we have everything connected. I think this makes sense because then also people can change the trains if they want to. And I think we're going to have a nice growth. So I've already started with that here. So we have the first line connected between Corringham and Alveston. This is also using electrical platforms already. And just look at that view. I mean, incredible, right? There's even a fox here walking around. I'm totally going to watch this train all day long. Commuting then between those cities. Now, Corringham, and as I said, in Molten. Now, Molten is going to have then quite a lot of trains passing through. So, Molten will need a bigger station. And I hope Molten is big enough for all of that. At the moment, of course, it's small. Um, what we can see right away that there might be a good chance here for a train, right? Um, this makes sense. Then we would have the trains going all the way around here through that to ripen. It's still a difficult feat. It's still though something that 
it's not easy to achieve and molten is really um, small there so I don't know if we ever will get this villager up because it also has horrible goods that it wants tools and machines both of them very hard to produce we might try it later but for now no chance um, there we have then the station. It's going to be a long station since lots of trains will pass through the station. Molten has the luck, more or less, that it is so central, right? So this is the only reason why we're doing this here with Molten. Is this possible in here? Yes, the tracks are possible. Right, so it continues like that. And also continues then here and we can connect then lots of stuff so what I also want to do here right away we're going to need another platform or at least another track here we're going to have the regional trains then kind of like you know because we have those smaller villages and then the huge line passing through um, and in that case no idea if this is going to be profitable we're making so much profit though that at this point I don't care if every line is profitable some of them just have to look beautiful and there we have the station then I think this will be fine and then of course this is connected then to rock the or ripen sorry ripen in ripen we already have a bigger station problem is we're using some trains here already on this track and I don't want too many trains passing on one track so we will need to increase the size of molten there of ripen once again in that case bye bye cargo once again I think I hope this works as intended. Of course, one of them does not have a stop yet or anymore, right? There we have then passengers only now. So there's another passenger platform. And right on this one is then also a cargo platform that is going to have cargo tracks. God, please let this work. This is a lot of space that we're using here right now. Look at that station. It is huge in Ripen then. Um, of course, we still need the connection now between all of them. So we do have this platform here is then only for the lines coming from Molten, right? So all we need is this one here that needs a connection. Which of course, as we can see, not easy. I think we'll need to get rid of that street here. This is working then. Right, we need that cargo platform. So that the cargo train, this one here, is coming in. As we can see, it should be now using the right platform then. It is, very good, so it's using it. Look at that, there are four crossings. Of course, that is absolutely not something you want to have in any city, so I'm thinking about getting rid of that street there in Ripen. As we can see, Ripen is getting really dense in the center now here, so I don't want to change too many things anymore. So once this has been done, it's done. We might have the street then on this side. No idea. Perhaps the city itself does something about it. Now we have that. Um, on this side, we still need now the connection. So once again, we do have then quite a lot of tracks. Right, so here we now have these two platforms then that we can use as well. Oh. And we got a new fighter plane, very good. And here we can then now continue with the tracks from Molten that we have. And as we can see, yep, this is working. If we put it all the way to this side, two times once again. And merging then with our, well, long-term or high-speed tracks here, but only for this short section, because it's splitting then up again onto these platforms here that we need for the other trains. So hopefully, they're not in the way of each other too often. Well, it's not that many trains anyway, right? And this one here, we can now continue then all the way up here to Blackpool and Rockdale quite the long trains but trust me we're getting some really nice high-speed trains soon anyway with the electrification and this will be totally worth it then. Alveston, Corringham, plus we only need to do this once. Once it's done it's done. You know the tracks have been laid then and we don't need to do that anymore. Corringham that's a bit easier getting to to Molten as we can see through the whole tunnel there. It costs 8 million. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever make this profitable. 
Um, let's see. We want to go here. All right. Right. First of all, we do have the main line, of course, that continues then along the road here as well. This continues then. And it's splitting up then here. Somewhere. And then through this tunnel here, which is really expensive, 5 million this tunnel alone. But boy, is this a nice route. It's looking like a really nice one. Look at that. We have now here the tracks going then into this huge mountain that we have. This mountain system that we have there. Into this tunnel. It's going to stay in this tunnel for quite some time. Coming out on the other side. With a little bridge here again. Into the next tunnel. To Corringham. And Corringham to Alveston is also a perfect look at that route look at that graphics here that landscape that we have absolutely fantastic this is such a nice nice passenger train route that we're going to have even though it's really expensive this is coming in then into ripen right so that we have something that has been connected perfect that is our first one the other route that we have is blackpool rockdale and nelson this is going to take a bit more energy here again because of the bridges there oh god we're going to split it up already later there. The reason why I don't want to do Rockdale Bolton is because that is just, yeah, that's not going to happen. Because we do have the trains here, so I would have to have the tracks merging here, disrupting all my grain station. There's so much going on here already. I don't want to have yet another passenger line going through that. So we're rather going Nelson, and they can change lines and then Nelson go to Bolton if they want to. There's just too much going on. I mean, hmm, it's a difficult decision. We could even have then this one here. Look at that. Rockdale. If we have the station here, for example, it would go right into the mountain. Coming out on the other side, or we stay. Or we have our station here, right? So we have, for Bolton, we would have then two stations. This station here has the connection with the road then and the airport. Nah, I'd rather go with Nelson. Makes more sense to me. That is only the first one though. So that is then working. We only need the signals then. The other thing that I wanted is these villages here, right? So they're also being connected then to Molten. Because in Molten we're going to have these smaller villages coming together. And they can then change to Riven, for example, if they want to. Yes. So Molten, of course, needs to be bigger than that. So we do need few more tracks and it's going to be for now passenger only which is fine anyway if we want to have cargo we can just add it then later um there we have these platforms so there are three passenger lines coming four passenger lines coming together here at the moment that's what i need to account for so having those is fine now and then once again that track here quite a big station this is going to be for such a small town but well it's going to be interesting if it's really boosting then the town as well at the same time no idea right this is going away this will continue now right as we can see it's taking a turn here because it needs to go into the mountain then to blackpool it's continuing this way Such a beautiful landscape. Having it then over here. Very good. So this continues to Blackpool. And here it is splitting up then for those villages that we have there. Right. For that I will need the station here first. Once again. Bentham. Also a very small town. Not much going on here right now. Hmm, where should we have the station then? Once again a bit, of tr a bit tricky. We could have it like this. But I think this is not such a bad idea. If we have the station like this, the city would still build around itself anyway. You know, so in that case, having some more houses than here, for example, and continuing then also. Hmm. 
here and boom it looks like it's always been like this right because buildings would then appear just on these green spots anyway and there we have the station for it i think in a good angle that we can use yeah Righto, and then we still have Lancaster, which is going to be a terminal station once again, because there's nothing else going on in Lancaster. We could have a station then, or a train going right to Rockdale from Lancaster. No idea. Or we just have a terminal station, which is my favorite one. And it just needs to be very small. Anyway, we can squeeze it in here exactly like that. Oh, this is looking fine with some trees in between. This is where the whole thing ends, and here we just need the tracks now as well. And then we just continue now the other track, or we just merge it with that. Look at that, through these mountains there, a few more tunnels. They're actually not that expensive when you look at my account, and I'm just getting that much in all the time. 700,000. This is a pretty interesting one too, by the way. So we got lots of tunnels here, a really nice bridge, and... Having it then connected to our main network. Oh, where did it end? There it is. Right. And as we can see, it's coming together so nicely. We even have a nice elevation there for the chips then as well. And there we have the connection and just look how that looks from afar so we have now the major line that goes this way and then the smaller lines are coming together here from the mountains from the mountain area going then right into molten and in molten it all comes together for this i can already see that there will be too much traffic here so we probably will have yeah we probably will have to use more than two tracks in this area probably four at least for this part here so the whole thing comes together. Difficult one. There we have a road here that is that should not be here for now. And let's just see that we can merge all of that now. Right, let's continue with those tracks and they're coming together then here. Poor Molten, it doesn't know what's happening right now. <laughs> There's so many things happening. Yeah, I think we, we could make this one here happen, right? We'll see how the, the traffic looks. We have enough room here to really, um, you know, expand it quickly anyway. And let's just have the road there again. Too much slope. Alright, it's, it's, it's a rare case that for the street there is too much slope. There we would have a street connection with the city again. This one continues then all the way to the other side around the station and is then being connected here again with the country road. Right, so the city can still grow itself around that. Perhaps, who knows. Molten is now connected. That was a lot of work. I'm really excited to see how these trains then, how the whole thing here works out. Stay tuned. <laughs>